All right, Happy New Year. It's Amos Kesta again. And this time, I'm going to be giving you the video on estivation. Now, before I make this video, I would want to get something clear because I know there are some of my colleagues who also follow my videos. Now, before you get critical, I'm going to tag this video the advantages of the intensive system over the semi intensive and free range system. Now, I know most of you are into free range system in Nigeria. I'm not condemning your work, neither am I antagonizing it. It's perfect, it's okay. But uh, before I start talking about estivation, I'm going to tell you just a little about myself, which I haven't done, which I'm not used to doing in other of my videos. But because of what I'm about to say, I'll just briefly introduce myself officially. My name is Mr. Amos Kesta Ibiwe, and I'm an animal scientist a certified animal scientist, uh, a graduate animal scientist. By that I mean I'm a member of the Nigerian Institute of Animal Science. So I'm into uh, a lot of things. I just didn't bump into snail production because I have interest in it. No, I actually studied animal production. So um, you may be seeing some of my videos coming up soon on rabbits, grass cutter production, uh, poultry production, pig production and all of that. I'm into general animal agriculture. So what I'm doing actually is not something I bumped into by accident. This is something I've actually studied in the university and I also lecture in the university as a lecturer. So I'm into practical animal production. I've just not tried to confine myself into the classroom. That's why you see me doing what I'm doing. I'm trying to bring the knowledge out of the classroom to the field so that we can actually put our knowledge to practice. That is why we are doing this. So um, that's just a brief introduction. Today I'll be talking about estivation, which I will tag the advantage of the intensive system over the free range system. Now what is estivation? Estivation simply means a period of dormancy in snails that results in loss of valuable growing period. Now this period we are is perfect for that video. That's why I've kept it this long to come up with it this time. Now we are in the peak of the dry season, the Amatan season in Nigeria. This season starts from November to March. Now snails in the natural habitat and in most free range systems go into what is called estivation during this period of time because of lack of moisture in the earth because the sun is really intense at this period of the time in the year and that leads to a lot of high levels of evaporation of moisture from the soil. The snails being cold blooded animals need enough moisture to thrive in the environment. Now when it's so dry and you're running a free range system, your snails tend to estivate. So during this period of November to March, the snails will not perform very well egg production wise. So I'll show you snails that are estivating and snails that are normal in their normal state of health. Now we have two sets of snails. These are the giant species of snails we have, like I've told you before in some of my videos. These are African giant land snails, the Akakatina marginata. So you can see the snails are well and full to the brim. Now when you are doing your selection for breeding snails, you have to get snails that are filled up to the mouth. Don't get snails that are hollow inside, the inner part, this edible part of the snail is deep inside and the shell is big. Such snails are not good because it's just the shell you're seeing. But when the shell is big and the snail, the edible part is also full to the brim. These are good snails for production. So you can see these snails are healthy and okay. And this is how a snail ought to be. Whether dry season or rainy season when you're farming the snails. But I have also kept some snails aside uh, in my pens. Where I try to make the conditions a bit harsh. We don't water this pen the way I kept these other snails I'm going to bring to you now. So I deliberately did that so that the snails will estivate so I could make this video for you. Now, these are estivating snails. You can see, this is what estivation is. 
Now the snails are properly covered because of dryness in those pens where I transfer them into. Now this is what happens in your free range system. This is a period of dormancy for this snail that results in loss of valuable growing time. Because the snails are not dead, I'll break them open and you will see. But they will remain in this condition for the next five months if nothing is done about it. Now, why are they not dead and could remain like this between now till March when the early rain start breaking out? The snails have a food reserve in their system where they store a lot of food between the months of July to October and they continue feeding on this food during the dry period. It's a natural instinct. Like I told you, I'm a lecturer and I don't want to lecture you on uh, anatomy and physiology of snails. This YouTube channel is all about how you make money with snails. But we know what we are doing, so sometimes we have to tell you these things for you to know that. If you're calling us to put up a farm for you, you know where you're putting your money. So, this is what happens. Now, during the months of July to October, the snail feeds a lot. It takes in a lot of food because of the dormancy period ahead. It's preparing for this period between November and March, which is the peak of the dry season. So the snail seals up with this calcareous tissue in the mouth and remains inside this system for the growth is slow during this period of time because it's not feeding from the external environment but feeds within the food reserve inside its body. So this is a valuable loss of growing period which ought not to be in commercial snail production. So that is why we don't encourage too much of the free range system in Nigeria because of the climatic conditions we have. The free range system is more common in the temperate regions. The temperate region is almost cool throughout the year, which is the western world. But here we live in the tropics where conditions are very hard during the dry season. So it is not very much suited for our conditions here in Nigeria. But if properly done, the system can still thrive. It needs a lot of commitment and effort to get the free range system working in Nigeria where you need to regulate the soil condition, the soil texture, as well as regulate the moisture content in the soil by having your sprinklers readily available, get the right dimensions and all of that. We are also into the free range system, but you have to do it right because people's money are at stake if you are going into a free range system. The system also serves a disadvantage that you don't know exactly what is in there for the fact that you can't get the eggs out and all of that. I've spoken about that in some of my videos and I wouldn't want to repeat myself on that. So this is the video on estivation. This is what estivation is about. These snails are currently estivating. Now I'm going to break it out for you to see. This is what we're talking about. You can see this is the, the calcareous tissue they use in sealing up. So the snail is now back to its normal function. So I'll also break this out for you to see what it looks like. Now it's out. So the snail is fine and normal. They are not dead. It can remain like this for five months without feeding from the external environment. So you give us a call if you are having issues with estivation in your farm. Even in intensive farms it occurs especially when you don't care for your snails properly and the intensive system so it's not only bound to free range system it has to do with commitment in your farm work and business so we are result oriented and we want to give you the very best so if you like this video subscribe like it and share it thank you we we'll just give you a, a view of the farm here now this is not what we have in Uyo this farm is located in Bielsa State and we are not only into large scale production, we are also into small scale and medium scale production. So this is a small farm here. So irrespective of the scale of production you want to go into, if you want to get the best result, don't forget to give us a call. So we just give you a view of the farm and say bye bye. Once again, Happy New Year from Care Star. Bye bye.